So guys, here you see it, one more solving video has been came on the channel. Uh, in today's video, we are solving a 464 question by the name of Can I Win? So I know the question is little bit tricky, but in today's video, we are solving this question by the name of Can I Win? And this is a medium one question which we are solving in today's video. And one more thing I have uh, told you that this topic, uh, this question topic is about math. Dynamic programming, bit manipulation, memoization, game theory, and bitmark. The, this topic is covered on about six topics. Uh, I have told you that. But anyways, in today's video, we are covering this three six topics, and we solve this question. So please like this video, share your friends, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to all the notification bell also. So let's move to the computer screen and let's do a coding with laughing. So let's try to solve a 464 question by the name of Can I Win? So now without taking your random, let's start and let's solve it. So first of all, I will be drag and drop this question into my word file. So first of all, we understand the question carefully as then we'll be start to solving it. So let me open my word file and let me paste it here. And let me give him to the font to the pop in. So let's start. Now in the game, so 100 game, two players take turns adding to a running total an integer from 1 to 10, the player who first causes the running total to reach or exceed 100 wins. Highlight reach and exceed. What, what if we change the game so that players cannot reuse integers? For example, two players might take turns drawing from a common pool of numbers from 1 to 15 without replacement until they reach a total greater or equal to 100. G uh, now, it is given me a two integers, max choosable integer and desired total. What? Desired total. Two integer it has been given me. And in today's video, we want to return uh, the taxes. We return true if the first player to move can force a win. Otherwise, return false, assume both players play optimally. Okay, highlight the optimally. Optimally. Now, let's see the example one in which he created one integer by the name of max choosable integer, in which he wrote in down 10, and one more integer that has been made by the name of desire total, in which he made 11. The output will be coming false because no matter which integer the first player choose the first player will lose the first player can choose an integer from 1 up to 10 if the first player choose 1 the second player can only choose integers from 2 up to 10 the second player will win by choosing 10 and get a total equal to 11 which is greater or equal to desired total same with other integers chosen by the first player the second player will always win so in our case, in the example one, the output will become false. Let's see our case two, in which he write one more max usable integer. Two integers had been made it. In first integer here he wrote it uh, ten, and the second integer he wrote it uh, zero. So that's why the output will be coming true. Then in that uh, example three, here he write in the first integer ten, and in the second integer one, and the output will be coming true. So here you can see it. And why the output has been coming true, true, true in the example two, in the example three, I have told you here in the explanation. So in our case one, our output will become false. In our case two, our output will become true. In our case three, our output will become true. And these are the constraints which we have used to solve this question. Okay, here you can see it. Now let's start to solve this question. Now I understand this. So now let's start to solve it. First of all, let me start the timer. So now let's start. So like you always know, uh, I start to write a code for with in the starting. So first of all, I define a class of a solution. Like you, all the people know, whenever you define any solution in the lead code camp, so you will be create a class of a solution. And def keyword, in which I write can I win. And win, w shall be in capital and i shall be also in capital. Then self, comma, mac, choosable. Like there are two integer, choosable integer. And one more integer by the name of desired total. These are the two uh, integers, okay? Int, then we convert into the boolean, okay? 
enter so let me uh, create a one comment in which i write two integers make choosable in l and desired okay now perfect now when we do this so i define one more tab in which i write get your sum then num then int and then we define here int and then semicolon please define here then i define i then here i define comma cur sum then equals to 1 comma 0 then enter then while loop i less than equals to 20 and then num then define here while loop then you define here if statement and then num and 1 then semicolon then cur sum then plus equals to 1 no i okay perfect so when you do this so you only want to do it enter press right here i plus equals to 1 and then please remove these code because uh, okay remove this code so now num greater than greater than equals to 1 backspace why i'm right backspace because we write output so that's why perfect now uh we define here maxim in which i write my uh, two integer like max choosable integer integer multiply by max choosable integer plus one divided by divided by two enter if max sum then less than desired total and then return false and false have still been capital must uh, notice this thing now we define a catchy now here we define one more dev keyword then in which you write dp then choose in in then end comma player then oh no and then we define it in the boolean enter see you are one more time sum equals to get cur sum then choose in int perfect now when you define it so you define here for loop i in range then max choosable in teaser then back like this if choose in int and one less than less than i then semicolon and then define a continue this is a one function i okay uh, continue is a one function uh, it is a uh, use for with a break statement okay so you are some plus i plus one greater equal to desired total or less enter space 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 not tp choose in then int and then define your line then one less than less than one less than less than i then comma player and then you define an upper sign so where it is here uh, one semicolon now we want to return here output first return true and here return false and now when you define it so erase these all the thing return here dp 0 comma 0 perfect so we have written my all the code so let's see the running code so now I think now the codes will be correct must be so backspace now let's run it and let's see the running code so when I run this code so there is an error in the line 9 okay in this line there is an error 
so what is error in this code so may let me see sorry I think so I did not write okay I understand where there it is an error so let's write semicolon now here because now now let's see the running code now okay what is error in this code so let me see num num then greater than greater than equals to one so let's see the error of this code let me see the error of this code so where it is where it is okay num equal, uh, greater than greater than okay let me press control shift and z now our all code in game please backspace from here now let's see the running code so now the our first error has been gone so in here there isn't any error like integer here i write divide by what is the error so let's see the error so let me press ctrl z first of all let me zoom it now let's do this so now let's come on it here please write multiplication like this and you must absolutely be in capital okay of the false so let's see now let's see the running code so now when i run it so now here you can see it has been accepted our case one case two case three our all the cases are accepted and let's see the submission code and the submission code is also be uh, it is taking our time a little bit okay it, it depends on your net speed so the, the submission of this code is also be correct we solve it in 3525 milliseconds we easily have solved this question so in today's video we solve 464 questions by the name of can i win so i hope you enjoy this video and this topic uh, this question is on about six topics like math dynamic programming bit manipulation memoization game theory and bit marks so i hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy so like share subscribe and don't forget to follow the notification bell also so for today good Bye.